Yo, how's it going guys? My name is Sudi and today we're gonna teach you guys that wanna start speedrunning how to set up live speed. This is the most important tool in speedrunnings at all because you need a timer to start speedrunning. You could technically speedrun without a timer I guess but it's gonna look suspicious and also it's not really worth it because you know it's kind of hard to know how what time it is if you don't have a timer but yeah without any further ado let's just go into this tutorial what up welcome to my opera gx browser here because i'm a gamer i'm just kidding but yeah all you need to do first is go into livesplit.org i'm gonna obviously leave this in the description for you if you wanna set up livesplit uh but it's just to download this latest version it should be basically the same for everyone when you have this file, you can, uh, you know, just right click, uh, extract to, I usually do. If you don't have WinRAR, you should probably download WinRAR because that's pretty important. But you should right click it and it should say something about extract. And you don't have, uh, what I'm using to do is extract to this because this creates a new map. I don't need to do this, but it's just like easier. Otherwise you can create a map put everything in there you know but WinRAR makes it 10 times easier to do this so now you have live split hmm interesting what to do now well you open this you can you can play it whatever you want I would recommend having it you know maybe on uh, your desktop or something like that but here we have it live split amazing so how does it work now it's set on real time, which that means is that when I press play, which I can't because I don't have the button on this keyboard, uh, it can play <laughs> and it uh, counts every you know second, like you know, you know how time works. I hope. And then boom, count seconds. But I'm a micro speedrunner. This is not gonna cut it for me, and I'm gonna show you how I would set up it for micro speedrunning. You could be done here. I mean, most games you're not done here, but you could just do this and you're done. But that is not what this video is about. I'm gonna set this up specifically for micro speedrunning, but you, this is the same for every speedrun. Especially those with in-game time, like Minecraft. So, what do you do? You do edit layout, boom. You do the plus sign, boom. T a timer, uh, I think detail timer, boom. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, rewind, rewind go timer timer and then uh, layout settings go into one of the timers i'm gonna do this one because i think it's the other one game time this is really important boom and now if i uh, do okay here we have it this is my timer and to set it as minecraft specifically what you do is go i should probably explain it as well because everything needs to be explain. Edit splits. Right click, uh, edit splits Minecraft. And you can type whatever game you want here. It doesn't have to be specifically Minecraft. Boom. And then sometimes you need to activate this, sometimes you don't. If you do activate it, or even if you don't have to activate it, go to settings. If there is an enable auto splitter, press that and check this save location, obviously. And auto splitter is the most important part because that makes it so whenever you create a new world, you, you know, the timer starts automatically. Some games might not have this, but Minecraft have, and that's really really nice. <laughs> so now I'm done. So let's just open Minecraft and see if this thing works. Boom! Now we're in Minecraft. So go to single player or you know whatever game you have. If you have an auto splitter, and just you know do a new run. So I'm creating a new world, and I don't even have the timer open. Uh, wait, there we go. It works. Now you see this is real time, it goes upwards all the time. This only updates when I pause, and it pauses the timer when I pause. So that's like the big difference. This is all you need for most games, but you can do some other things as well. I'm gonna show you another timer that I have already open. Which also auto splits right now the same. <laughs> uh, you can do some other things like change the font font here. I have the Minecraft font with 
red and some gradient to make it look a little bit better on my stream check it out link in the description and uh, you might see it have blue here that's because i want to green screen it or you know remove uh, the color in streamlabs obs which is what i'm using to stream and record to you know make it a little bit personal make it a little bit better for my taste but you don't have to but if you want to you go to edit layout layer settings here you can change you know the colors and the font and whatever you want play around with this it's kind of fun i have this also like a little bit smaller or not that one specifically i think this is this one yeah this is the same but this one a little bit smaller because i like that boom boom play around with it and if you're done something you have to do is save layout and what it's doing for me is it's opening documents where i can save this layout as uh, live split or well, I, I already have one of those so let's do live split lol because that's that's fun so now if i close this and uh, yeah i'm not gonna save those boom this is uh, this is already i think on my layout but if it's not which happens sometimes you do go to open layout from file boom and you have the same one but it doesn't like auto save, so you need to save it every time you change something. But that's it. That's how you fix a live split timer. And uh, you can't really use this in full screen because if I go to full screen here, and I don't know if you can see it anyway, but yeah, timer disappears. Unfortunately, so what I have is on my second monitor, I have the timer. And also on Streamlabs OBS, I have the timer on as well. So I can, you know, look to my other monitor. You could use borderless Minecraft if you really want to. But yeah, that's about it. So, any questions on how to use live split in the comments? I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to do more tutorials. I think every week on every Wednesday I'm gonna do one tutorial, mostly Minecraft related. But sometimes I'm gonna do more of these streaming related things. So, that was it. Check in the link in the description. I'm streaming every single day except Wednesdays right now, but I might change that. And it says I'm streaming every day down there. So check me out on Twitch, check me out on whatever you want. And I'll see you in my next video. See ya!